my connection weak. You don't be killing me. Come on, YouTube. I mean, Facebook or whatever. Come on now. Come on up, fam. Come on up, fam. Come on up. Come on up, fam. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. What's up, brother Kwame? We're about to kick it, fam. All right. You see, uh, I got the plate. So I'm not intermittent fasting right now. We about to eat and, and discuss like like bosses, like chiefs. Right? We got the table. Sitting at the table. You know what I'm saying? I got the eggs. I got the fermented food. Now, let me, let me break down the rules of eating like a boss, right? You have to be intimately involved with the process of creating the food that you are eating. All right? That's a boss, right? See, because think about this. In the old days, landlords, you know what I'm saying? They controlled all the food that was produced on their property, right? You know, we look into our African, our African tradition. It wasn't how, many, how much gold you had. is how many people you had working with you, how many people you had with you, you know what I'm saying, your crew, right, that was your wealth, and usually those, that crew consisted of farmers, right, so you was able to eat food off of land that you shared as a group, and because you was a respected member of the group, everybody would always give to you, and it's because you was giving them other services as well, so when we talk about eating like a boss, we ain't talking about going out and buying some stuff, we talking about creating some stuff. Now, let me just tell you the next level, right? So, y'all know I was off work um, for about two weeks uh, because actually I'm still having some, you know what I'm saying, some issues. And now I'm my lower back in the move down, but that's new here there. So I go back to work, right? But at the same time, um, I responded to one of my brother's uh, uh, post on Facebook where he was talking about farming, urban farming. And importance of urban farming, right? And um, how somebody need to sign up for the course. And I said, well, shit, I, I'll call them up on it. So I go and sign up, right? So I'm getting my money together to go. So I go back to work. And as I walk in, I walk in and we got a hyd we got hydroponic gardens hanging up in the school, right? So I'm not I'm like, damn. So now, this is how deep it's about to go, eating like a boss, right? Because one of the goals I gave Cleve, I looked at Cleve, I said, Cleve, that club right there, your goal is by the time you're in eighth grade to be running that. You understand? Your assignment. See, this is one of the things we're missing as black men, right? Assignments, right? You, you need to be assigned shit, right? I mean, because really what it does is it helps you focus Especially in a world where you're surrounded by noise. We're surrounded by noise. Our kids are surrounded by noise. So sometimes we got to get them focused, right? So like I get him up at 5 o'clock be like, yo, dude, you need to learn this HTML. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm saying? Before school start, you, you we might need to move to two hours a day. Because you're moving kind of slow. You need to learn that HTML, right? But give them focus. You know what I'm saying? Give them assignments, right? Real life assignments, right? So now... So eating like a boss now is about to ex expand to a point to where not only I'm going to be able to go and buy my greens that I eat, that I, that I know will be organically grown at my school for my kids. I'm really going to be able to eat like a boss because I've seen this go from beginning to the end. Family, see, it's bigger than just, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than just money, right? We got to get beyond that, right? So now. Before we get started, um, uh, today's episode, where we're going to be eating like a boss, we're going to be discussing Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. I'm going to pull just a little bit. I ain't, listen, I ain't even passed the first chapter, right? I'm going to pull something from the first chapter. I'm going to pull something from the last chapter. And we're going to talk about what Mr. Joseph Campbell you know what I'm saying? I had to say, we, you know, and I know y'all like, what that got to do with school, brother Hot Tim? But if you got to ask that question, you are really out the loop, right? Because The Hero with a Thousand Faces is one of the premier books, one of the premier books of 
anybody that loves studying myth and folk tales, right? So I'm, this is a redo for me, right? I'm going back up in here. Why? Because I need to be, be reminded about the importance of rites of passage, the importance of ritual to a people, right? So we're going to discuss, right? And the thing we're going to discuss is establishing our own personal holidays. And I'm not talking about even as a group. I'm talking about you having your own personal holidays, right? Your own personal holiday. You know what I'm saying? Where you celebrate in the way that you celebrate, right? Why is that important? Why is that something that you need to establish? And then if you were a group, as a group, y'all need to establish some holidays. And I'm talking about maybe on a weekly basis, right? Because this brings you in line with what's called the spirit realm, right? See, because what I want to illustrate is how we went from peering and looking and seeing the gorgeousness of heaven being confined to a circle on a, on, on a wall in a cave. We, we, we went from being a natural man to being machine man. Right? But it's cool, right? It, 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 that's the way it goes, right? So let's go and do this toast. All right. So I want to send shots out to Brother Kwame. About to do it. I want to take my rhodiola as well, if you don't mind. I'm, I'm still doing the roll. Oh, by the way, um, Brother Kwame, um, do you want me to filter out the black seed um, when I prepare this brew for you? Or do you want the black seed still um, floating, floating in the drink? You need to let me know. All right? Black seed filtered out. Or do you want the black seed ink to just remain in? All right. Today, um, brothers and sisters, we are celebrating Ujima, right? Um, cooperative economics. And speaking of cooperative economics, one of the things I wanted to make sure everybody knew was coming up, we're going to be celebrating the Comedic New Year at the very beginning of August. I think it's August 3rd through August 7th, right? Um... Not on this video, but on a YouTube video, I will be posting up. Uh, could I post it up on here? I don't think I could post it up on here. But on on um, hmm, I gotta look at that. Um, oh, we will be celebrating the Comedic New Year, right? And you know, this is gonna be my first time doing it, but I'm trying to get involved with. Um, the local um, conscious community in Columbus. This is why. Because I honestly believe these holidays, whether it's Comedic New Year, Kwanzaa, Juneteenth, um, the organizations that have been throwing these and have been trusted parts of the community for a long time, I believe can become economic engines that can help us move as a group, move to another level. Oh, Kwame probably went out to walk his dog. All right. Once again, I ask, Brother Kwame, do you want the black seed in? You want me to, or you want me to filter it out? All right. So, which do you understand me getting the most benefits? Never mind with the black, with black seed. Okay. You want the black seed floating in there? All right. Cool. That means I can throw some more in there. I'm gonna throw some, throw some more black seed in there. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was gonna filter it out, I don't need to throw no more in there. But you know. We're going to let it go. We're gonna, I think you will get the most benefit by floating around in there. But every now and then when you drink, you know that you're going to pop up on some black seed, right? You know, I'm just saying. Just saying, you know. So go and drink your water with me. Come on. Did the show about um, rhodiola yesterday? We find out what an adaptogen is, and it helps you deal with stress a little bit better because this type of plant is a plant that um, grows in extreme environments, and they transfer whatever uh, stress mechanism that they have. They help 
your body adjust, all right? I got 16 ounces. Let's go for a 32. By the way, I'm drinking that Icelandic. I really like this one. But I ran into one yesterday that I think I like more. It's called Waikiki. Um, it, was, it was pretty good. I mean, it was good enough for my kids to sit up there and try to sip away their daddy's uh, um, water. Peace, brother Shaka. All right, so here we go. All right, so I'm down in the basement, and guess what I found? I found me the last ginseng from the last batch. This is not your ginseng, um, Kwame, so don't get up on here tripping, man. This is not your ginseng, all right? So I'm going to pop it. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Look at that. Man. Now, for those that are familiar with ginseng, ginseng is very, very bitter. So, we're going to get our bitter man. Man, look at that. Look at that. Your own private waterfall early in the morning. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I try to breed this. I mean, I, 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 I folks, I be trying not, I be trying to get it to calm down, but you know, it just don't listen. It just don't listen. It, it just flows. You know, it, it uh, you know, it, it's ready to serve. That's his way of serving. It's ready to serve. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. All right. Let's go and look at that real quick. Ginseng, or each one of these got their own personality. Look at that. All right, so, woo. All right, let me hold on before we toast the ancestors. Woo, woo. Nice and mature, but you know what can make that better? cup of fruit. God damn, look at that. Oh, y'all messing with the wrong one. Uh, 
they should have never, never introduced me to the, to the, to the, to the individual cup. Look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna save a little bit of that, so I can have me some actual ambrosia. Ooh, man. So now what I got is I got triple berries. So I got blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, some uh, peaches. And of course, that ambrosia mixed up in there, all right? Now let's see what happens. This might not turn out too good for me, folks. I'm gonna turn you so you can watch just in case some big explosion happened or something. I know this ambrosia is volatile, especially when it's in the senior citizen phase. Okay, so now we can make we can make smoothies out that ambrosia, fam. Let's see. Let's put it in a pretty glass. Let's toast up to the ancestors. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful purple. Beautiful purple. All right. So first, give an honor to the ancestors by... By first giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose, call it creator. We call it great universal force. We call it into action for each one of us. We call it to bless and guide us. We call it to give us wisdom so that we could pass that wisdom on to our children. We call it to give us prosperity so that we could pass that on to our children. We call it to, to give us help so we could pass that on to our children. We lift up that creator and we say, I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We toast those who came before us. We toast those um, who made it possible for us to live our lives. We toast those who encouraged us to dream. We toast those who encouraged us to, to, um, to, to push through during hard times. We toast those ancestors that blessed us and guided us in the roughest of times. We, we, we call on those ancestors. Brother Shaka want to send shots out to Theolis and Harvey Halliburton, right? No, my Hasbury. Theolis and Harvey Hasbury, right? So now I'm going to run down my family line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Texana Davis, Hunter Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia when you want it, Crystal and Fanny Gasson, Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, um, Cleveland Brown, uh, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis. Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, um, Alvaro Brown, um, um, Gina Gaines, Phenokes, uh, or also known as Monique Pimentel, uh, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan. John Falar, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Normal X, Chapet Ma Ra, Elder Farmer, Elder Heston, Elder Donaldson, Elder Millie, um, Mark, uh, Terrell Dunbar, uh, Shaka says Aunt Evelyn, Charmaine, Diane, um, we did Jamon, Terrell Dunbar, T.C. Islam. Um, oh, oh. Tony Clark, Dr. Marianne Williams, uh, Geronimo Pratt, uh, 
Jaga. My. All right, we lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Toast all those that came to our, our minds. Um, and we know that it was, if we missed them, it was a mistake of the mind and not of the heart. We toast them and we say Ashe. From there, we move on to um, the present moment. Today is Ujama, right? Um, cooperative economics. There's also uh, gratitude. <sighs> Powerful day. There's also gratitude. Uh, I think the modern principle is reciprocity. Hmm. Man, listen. Toast and we lift up, right? Boom. Right. Powerful day. It's going to be a powerful day. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Now, we move from there. We toast our children, our children's children unto infinity. You know what I'm saying? Because everything we build, everything we think, everything we do is for them. So we toast and we say, I say, from there I toast you. Any issues that you need covered, anything that you want the ancestors to work on, now is the time to ask. We lift up our classes as we do every day. Because some of y'all join me daily basis, right? Boom. Toast. And we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Mm. That is that ginseng, fresh berries, frozen berries, and peaches. All right, I'm gonna save some of that for the other show. So make sure y'all join me. I'll be pulling some stuff from the first and last chapter of Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. We're gonna discuss that just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep them, trying to keep all these short. Um, I finally know how to upload this so that I can share it directly on my Giami Journey site. So I want to welcome everybody that's been on the Giami Journey side because I've been broadcasting on Hot Tim side, but. Now I'm be able to broadcast on Giami Journey side, or at least share on Giami Journey side. So, uh, let's see, brother Kwame dealt with a lot of mythology and how to apply them today. That's Joseph Campbell. Word, Joseph Campbell. That's word. So, I'm about to get into it. All right. So, I will see y'all on the other side. Peace.